You know, we're, we're not predicting tornadoes, but we do have a chance for some severe thunderstorms uh, late tomorrow, towards tomorrow evening. So we'll be watching that very carefully for you, and this is uh, getting into the time of the year for that. Look at the warm temperatures since Friday. I remember our average highs around 41 degrees, 44 on Friday, 60 on Saturday. The rain cooled us down to 48 on Sunday, but then 52 today, 50 tomorrow, 54 on Wednesday, and then back down to 48 by Thursday. Yes, see if you could pick out what we're looking at right now on our sky cams. This is Kenosha. 51 degrees there and some pretty dense fog closer to Lake Michigan. We can see that in spots along the lake through the evening and overnight hours. Temperatures right now are much cooler near the lake. 43 Port Washington, 47 Milwaukee and Sheboygan, but 52 in Waukesha, 54 in Whitewater, 55 Lake Geneva, 51 in Fond du Lac. And you can see those winds coming right off the lake if you're lakeside and they're variable to calm just about everywhere else, but there's, a much, there's enough moisture in the air to cause fog just about anywhere. It's a little easier when you cool down that quickly near the lake. And we're looking at clouds rolling in from the west, mostly cloudy skies. We're watching a low pressure system developing on the northern Intermountain region, starting to already generate showers across the Dakotas and into Nebraska. And it's going to drag up some pretty good moisture. And that moisture could uh, combine with a warm front and that low to give us some thunderstorms. So here's overnight tonight on our computer miles, just a slim thread of an isolated shower. Then by later in the afternoon, around 2 o'clock, watch this complex of showers, maybe isolated thunder showers rolling in. Tomorrow evening, looks like the computer miles predicting a squall line from central uh, Wisconsin all the way down to northeast Illinois. That's what we're going to be watching for a chance of strong thunderstorms. And then this low passes through northern Wisconsin, and we might see an isolated shower in the morning hours on Wednesday. Then it pushes out of the picture. So for tonight, cloudy, patchy fog. Isolated shower by morning shouldn't amount to much. Watch out for patches of dense fog, low 38. For tomorrow, slight chance of a morning shower. Then we're watching showers and storms later in the afternoon and into the evening. 50 on a breezy southeast wind. Winds will be much stronger into Wednesday. Could still see a morning isolated shower. Check out those winds. High up to 54 degrees. Your Storm Team for seven day forecast. Thursday, we drop to 48 for St. Patrick's Day. Slight chance of an isolated morning shower. Then all the way down to 42 on uh, Friday, Saturday, 41 degrees. Seasonal temperatures, maybe a snow or rain shower. By Sunday, we're back up to 43 degrees, 41 on Monday. The big change in that seven day mm -hmm. is where's our good weather for the weekend? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've been hitting 50s and even warmer than that for about the last three, four weekends. You got four so days to work happened? on it. <laughs> uh, you're right. I have you four, got four days, days to work, to work on it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks.